Have you tried distracting him, like doing something fun so he's not thinking That's about That's practically all I've been doing. I mean, every time I see him get sad or depressed or angry, I try to take him out and go do something, get his mind off of it or whatever. But it's useless because every time we get back, he goes right back to it. Well, yeah, but that's understandable, Joe. I mean, when I lost my grandpa, not that it compares in any way, I cried myself to sleep every night, like every night. But that's the difference. You cry. He doesn't cry at all. The only time I saw him cry was a little bit at the funeral. And that was over a year ago. Yeah, but people go through loss in different ways too. Like I cried myself to sleep every night. Some people travel or drink or get angry and others just shut themselves off from everybody else. Like. An armadillo. They roll themselves up into a ball and then they push everybody else away. It's like a defense mechanism. And I get that. But I was reading this blog the other day and it was saying that if you don't go through your pain and emotions, you'll just keep pushing it off and postponing it. That's what I'm saying. He has to go through it. Maybe this is his way of going through it. No, 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 he is not going through it. All he does is sit at home and play video games or write that stupid song. Look, I found this in the trash today. Well, maybe he dropped it. Yeah, sure, maybe. Hey man, you're right where I left you. Have you eaten anything all day? Yeah, I had some leftover pizza. <laughs> leftover pizza, are you serious? You want me to make you some real food? No, I'm fine. I'm just gonna finish doing this. Are you sure? Stop worrying about me, dude. And by the way, tell your girlfriend to stop texting me, please. She just cares about you, man. My aunt told me she's been calling you too, but you won't return any of her calls. We're just trying to help. 
Maybe if you don't. Oh, that's nice of you. Peter, we can't keep doing this. Doing what? We have to talk no, about Joe, it. No, Joe, no. Here, this, I said to yourself, obsessing over, I don't even know. You don't have to deal with this crap. So, like a freaking cat or something. There's a difference between Oh me. my god. I'm just trying to help. Help! If you keep pretending, like nothing ever happens. Peter, stop. Peter, you don't have to do this. Stop. If Please. I wanted to deal with this, I would have stayed home. I would have gone back to that stupid church counselor. Peter, stop. I thought that by being here, that at least you would understand. Okay, okay, okay. You win. I'm sorry. If you want to sit here, I'll let you be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. <coughs> Peter, you good, man? <coughs> What, what did we talk about yesterday? Peter? Peter? <coughs> You're burning out, man. I'm fine. He really doesn't want to, Sarah. He keeps saying it over and over again. I don't know what to do. I know, I know, but what should I do? He won't listen to anything I say. Okay, I love you too.
Nej. Hey, you're getting better at this than I am. <laughs> Wanna see my fastball? Okay, I'm all right. I promise. I'm good. Oh, no, don't. It, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's, no, it's just sorry. a little. It's a little blood. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's it was an accident. It was a complete accident. Okay. Listen, listen. Do you want to hear a story? Let me tell you a story. Whenever you were four years old, we were running late for church and it was about to rain outside and your mother had reminded me that I forgot your jacket. And so I went out and ran throughout the house and went and grabbed your jacket. And when I came back outside, you started laughing at me because I was singing the Superman theme song at the top of my lungs. And when I ran up to you, I threw your jacket around you and zipped it up really quick because we were running late. And I caught you right here on your chin and you started crying because it hurt really bad. And it made me feel really bad and sad. And uh, your mother didn't help me feel any better. But uh, don't worry about it, okay? Come here, give me a hug. Listen, listen, it's all right, it's all right. Unless this is about the jacket incident. In that case, I totally deserve it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh. That's a good fastball, by the way. <laughs> it's all right.